I've been following up on um, Gwenpool, actually. Yeah. That I've been following up on. I hear the on. Gwen Stacy Spider Man book is actually yeah. really good. Too. Oh, yeah. The, I did too. I kind of wanted. I remember the. I like how they. The only thing I know about it, which was actually really fucking good, was how they tied in a Spider Man meme tastefully. Well done into that one. <laughs> like, really. They really did a great job with it. It's like she comes in through a window. She's like. Well, Electro or somebody out is out there destroying the, in, destroying the city. Meanwhile, you're just sitting there. Wait, what the hell are you doing? Take him down. <laughs> like, like um, reloading. with Gwenpool, like, it's completely self-aware that she knows she's in a comic book. Well, you would have to, with the, given the character you're replicating. Yeah, the, exactly. It's like Squirrel Girl. Like, it, you have to kind of throw a lot. <laughs> I of like the idea of Squirrel Girl, even if it's so Ow! ridiculous. Yeah, you know, and it, it, that's why. I, what the. <laughs> 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 I can't see him. He's camouflaging it so well into the ground. I'll, I'll help you, buddy. Well, hey, Jim, that sniper rifle's floating in midair. <laughs> but, uh, they didn't. They didn't pay him. So I'm a decided. real ghost. Yeah. <laughs> like um, one of my favorite things about um about Gwenpool was the female Thor actually made an appearance. I forgot what her name was. Was it? Uh, what? Well, no, Jane Foster. It, it turned out Jane Foster was uh. Yeah, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The, um, Which the, I like that it's Jane Foster, but I'm not exactly sure I'd buy Natalie Portman as uh, <laughs> female so, Thor. So like the thing is, is like she made an appearance and then like she was trying to figure out who it actually was. So then she had to point out that Natalie Portman played her in the movies. Uh, <laughs> see, that's pretty cool. I like that. Like it's it's, see, it's and really then, entertaining. And then see, and it's fun because you accept it as what it is. It's not canon. Yes. No one's going to reference it later on to the point where you need to have gone back and read that. I mean, it's fine. But then to you know, to say that, if, for, for instance, in the six one six, to say, oh well. Uh, uh, Jane. <laughs> you know, if you threw somebody else from that height, it would have killed them. Yeah, not you, you know, Frank. But You're then special. For, for them to say, oh, Jane Foster is female Thor. So, spoiler alert, by the way, Jane Foster is, is, <laughs> was female Thor. And then a few, a few issues later, they would say, oh, well, that was actually something different. She was not the Thor. We're now saying that she was Lady Thor, and then the actual female Thor was this other character, like was Sif or something like that. And it would be like, come uh, on, man. You're, yeah, it's a, there's a different – you kind of feel like you're making it up as you go along as opposed to you've got a consistent storyline set up. That it could be audience reaction. But um, I mean, which shouldn't I don't think it should affect it that much. I, you, if you're if you're wow, I'm strong. <laughs> but I mean, you're like, just copping a field. What is he holding on to? His left hand. Oh, the bad guy. The yeah, bad guy. I, oh, what there's a gate. There's like a piece of fence is or there? something. No, it's behind the fan though. No, it's in no, front, it's of, in front it. of the fan. No, I could, no, I that's mean, in front of it. The graphic for the fan is behind. Yeah, that, all right, that, it's, that it's, fence. it's just a little weird. Yeah, it looks a little hokey. But um, I was gonna say the um, even fucking Howard the Duck made an appearance in the first issue of Gwenpool. Well, he made an appearance in the MCU also. They're so. going to do something with Howard the Duck and the next Guardian of the Galaxy. But, the, but yeah, then, but then you're like, who the hell cares about Howard the Duck? Well, no, that's the thing, though. I mean, most people that don't read comic books when they think of Howard the Duck, they're most likely thinking of the 80s film. The 80s film, yeah. Uh, duck, just, duck tits. Yeah. Well, I mean, besides that, <laughs> you know. Is there a besides that? Yeah, there is. I would say it's besides <laughs> that. that. I would seems, say seems that's, like the most uh, important aspect to me. I would say <laughs> the Dark Overlord <laughs> and his claymation. Oh, yeah. oh God, that's a uh, uh, stop motion Ray Harryhausen you know. style artwork. But Howard the Duck, I mean, he's uh, you know he's also a bit of a joke in the comic universe too. Uh, but I think they can make something work with that in Guardians of the Galaxy, which is why I think they waited until that movie to introduce him in that universe yeah and you know what in, in a uni in a What's in a setting where rocket raccoon is they managed to make him a serious character it might actually work yeah because the rocket raccoon before was just an imba i used to but, uh, i used to make jokes that rocket raccoon eventually would enter the marvel universe like one day they're going to run out of ideas and it's going to be rocket raccoon not realizing at some point that they had one of the remakes of guardians of the galaxy was some of those lesser known characters that they put together. So when that movie was coming out, I was like, oh my God, they really are. You know are what, doing though, it. with how consistent the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been, they've earned that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, to make me, you know, uh, Matt even mentioned this, I think like a couple of years ago, we we're doing Injustice, where DC seems to be so focused on how can we make these heroes relate to the real world yeah, and their exactly. issues, which I think completely eliminates the whole fucking point of a superhero comic book story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, Marvel, on the other hand, is just here's a raccoon with a gun. 
Yeah, like and, they, and they have no problem with it. And because, you know, we've talked about before where they're not trying to, they're not trying to grasp realism in that sense. So once you let it go, what are you, you actually have a much better time. I mean, you, you can you have can, more fun with it. You can have people relate to comic book stories and uh, characters through, I guess, the like a moral of the story, an Aesop yeah, or something yeah. like that. Not so much with... You don't have to tie it directly into the real world to give the real world messages within the comic books. Yeah, you, I think that, you know... Su uh, characters like Superman or uh, not so much Batman. Batman, I just want to see kick some ass. Yeah. But like someone like Superman is someone I want to look up to. Yeah. And, and it's and it's funny because Superman, you really can because he Sur flies. Uh, you gotta look well, up. <laughs> we gotta look up. <laughs> <laughs> Superman. Superman well, is an ideal. Yes. To, yeah. It's something to strive for. The comic, the powers, and the gadgets or whatever it is with Superman is not the point of yeah. Superman. Well, actually, it's funny because I I see it. I Shit, see Superman. I'm shot. <laughs> I see Superman. Yeah, said Superman. <laughs> Man, said, said. <laughs> When he was first learning his powers. When he was first yeah, learning his powers. Yeah, I've been I'm, shot. I'm it was shot. on his it was on his yearbook. You know, <laughs> super, Superman to me, I always I was I it's weird to say identified with because I don't want to make it sound like I'm Superman. <laughs> yeah. but, or are you? Have you ever uh, noticed that yeah, Greg and Superman are never we in the have same not been room? in the same place? But I, I I identify with him in the sense in his in his sort of struggle in that you've heard before the whole thing about how he has powers and he has to pretend like he doesn't. And for a lot of us in this, in our geeky community, that's something that we sort of go through a lot. We don't get to be who we really are in the mass population of people because a lot of people will, they'll look down on us for it um, or, you know, they'll, they'll treat us differently for it. And we, you know, I, I know I grew up being less accepted if it turned out that you like comic books and video games and all that stuff. So you have to kind of, you feel like you're hiding who you really are in order to exist in society. And Superman kind of, I would kind of identify with Superman in What's that sense where he didn't get to, he didn't go around pretending to be a powerful person. He was a powerful person that had to pretend to be weak. Yeah, which is, the, the, that's the thing that sort of aggravated me about the Snyderverse in terms of like Man of Steel because they were trying to exemplify that part yeah. a little too much and it, it to me I, I still feel like I'm watching a Superman who hasn't gotten over that part of his life yeah all because of his father telling him to do that which also aggravated the hell out of me with the fact that he didn't save his father which you go, you go, you get, that's a whole is thing, thing is entirely different yeah, but you know that's a whole separate video it's it, it, it's true that nowadays I mean, you probably nice. you can't make um, it's probably behind you I don't see the arrows usually you get an arrow it was it was Past the doors, because you're not getting shot now. Just interrogate him for health. <laughs> Already did. Uh, uh, Christopher Reeve esque Superman. I don't think can be made at this day and age. That's just the way life is nowadays. We, it's now we see it as unbelievable. But we, the reason we've become why, so cynical, we see it as unbelievable. But the reason why I would still prefer Reeve Superman over. Henry Cavill. Not got nothing against Henry Cavill. I think he actually plays like physically. He makes a great Superman. Henry Cavill. Uh, yeah, yeah. L looks great in the suit. You know, you know. I'm not blaming him for the writing and all that sort of shit. Uh, but the one thing I loved about Christopher Reeve Superman is that he was Superman. He didn't give a shit about what everybody else thought about him. He was a superhero. He had the blue tights. He had the red cape. He's going to save you, and he's going to go on about the very way. Yeah. That, that that that's what he is. That's what he does. That you know that he is the ideal human. Yeah, you know the most human of us all. He, ironically, yeah, he, he's like you know. Without superpowers, he is what we like to think we're striving to be. Yes, <laughs> even though a lot of us are not. <laughs> and, and we're interested in that sort of thing for different reasons. And uh, to me, when you when you have a Superman that doesn't really care about what others think about him, you're more interested now in where his inner struggles and the inner struggles in that kind of Superman is how he can't be everywhere at once. Yeah. You know, yeah. As, as the Man of Steel. I think that's way more interesting than a Man of Steel who puts too much pressure on what others think about him as someone who can leap buildings in a single bound. Yeah. Chris, Christopher Reeve would have saved his dad. Yeah. 
<laughs> he would have he would have saved Kevin Costner. But Podcat in the Christopher Reeve universe was also way more nicer than yeah. fucking Kevin Costner. But I think that's the thing. He was played by Kevin Costner. But it doesn't matter who's being played by what. It's the writing that uh, that yeah. Well, yeah, dictates yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah I, yeah, I mean that's what we're talking about. Don't don't think that we're sitting here. Don't think that we're gonna punch Henry Cavill in the face because I don't like because I don't like his version of Superman. It's yeah, not his fault. it's now, not Henry Cavill's fault. Yeah. Now Batman versus Superman, on the other hand. <laughs> I'm being well, fucking that's... shot by. Yo, it's I coming saw, from I up saw the, it. Yeah, the bullet. I saw the start. tracer bullet. It's coming yeah. from the northeast, northwest. Probably climb that ladder. You climb that ladder. Yeah. 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 I didn't even see a ladder here. Oh, you can't. Oh, you broken. can't even climb it. It's broken. Unrung here. Oh, it's right there. there. Right there, Matt. Oh, to the left. 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 Uh, Wait. No, stop. 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 Right. There we go. Right there. There he is. Right there he is. You missed. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking missed. Okay, he stepped out of the way of that one. <laughs> but it's just <laughs> fucking explosion. How was he missing? He's right there. He's right there. And I fucking dick sleeve. Dick sleeve. Was that a new slang for condom? How does you, it, it, Apparently you can't it? hit him. What is going... No, he has if, a health bar if, over if, his head. You should no, be able to well, hit no, him. With if, the rocket launcher. It phased him. him. Where's the fucking rifle? Yeah, because it clipped right through him. But why? Because he's awesome. not a... Is he Superman? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's Frank Castle's sweating bullets. Like, oh shit! Literally sweating bullets. He's the invisible man. <laughs> the bullets are flying out of his forehead <laughs> and reloading his gun. He's the invisible man. That's what it is. He's the invisible man. Yet we clearly see yeah, him. Yeah, we saw him. He's he's Wonder Woman's plane. He, the, his he's Opeg man. There we go. Shoot him in the gun. Shoot him in the gun. Take your die as a Pam. What the, what the hell, hell was, that? was that? That wasn't me. It's was like fucking Michael Jackson movie. It was like, Ow! Ow! like I was gonna say this in the beginning before we went on the you superhero tangent. You before they went on the superhero tangent. <laughs> no, we punisher. went on the superhero tangent. You were just pl you were playing. Yeah, yeah I said you were playing superhero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like um, like when you shoot someone with a sniper rifle, I'm automatically think of um the uh, PS the PS2 um GTA trilogy. All right, now we got a different problem here. This Why? Looks... Just no, and, and that's Be unrealistic, Elliot. <laughs> you can shoot the moon in that game and make it grow three times large. <laughs> hmm. So that was a big loop. That was a loop. That was so a wait, loop. you can shoot the moon. It's well, we hope you enjoyed our superhero time, ladies yeah, right? and gentlemen. <laughs> we didn't really progress much in game, but we did make for some interesting. Yeah, I know. We ran around in circles while he w he was fascinated with the conversation, so he forgot <laughs> that he was supposed <laughs> to like, kill people. I want to keep people. going. Just keep circulating the tapes or Punisher in this case. <laughs> Uh, un momento. Wait, go back out. Go back through that Wait, door. Wait, Trace. Whoa. Or you can go there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Trace. Alerted the whole island by now. No shit. N and the giant explosions from your bazooka. Big snake. Where's the snake? You know what? I'm probably going to need a rocket launcher <laughs> for this part, aren't I? <laughs> Big snake. Didn't you say Metal Gear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new... <laughs> Punisher angry. <laughs> Frankie Killy! What the it, fuck? Geez. Is that Frank saying that? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that other guy saying it. You did miss a guy. It's, it's clobbering time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he starts borrowing all the superheroes' catchphrases. <laughs> I like that. Time to swing into action. <laughs> There's a special kill there. This one's for JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love the X Men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're mixing those up. That's just a special kill. I know. Why is it? Oh wait, there it is. Is there a branch or something that I'm not seeing? Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, okay, shit. okay, okay. Cool. Sure. Don't spoil I'm just your expecting. Snack. I'm, I'm just expecting the Wilhelm scream coming up. Ba -da -bum -bum. Good, good dive. Good dive. Right into my. Right into my hands. Uh, a four execution. What are you, the fucking Russian judge? And then Frank breaks his hand for punching body armor. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why he's not punching the body armor. He's aiming for the testes or the head. Kevlar's for bullets, not for fists. <laughs> but my fists are screaming right now. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Kevlar's for pussies. Kevlar, you mean my bitch apron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who wears Kevlar as a dinner apron? <laughs> who would in the video game universe? Frank. Frank. Frank Castle. Frank. I guess Duke, uh, Duke, Duke Nukem. Nukem. Yeah, Duke Nukem would probably wear Kevlar. Doom guy. 
Doom guy, yeah. Doom guy just wears Kevlar all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's always prepared He's for just dinner. waiting for something to go down. Uh, and the guy from uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah. BJ Blazkowicz. Is that really who, what that character's name is? Yeah. Really? Would Marcus Phoenix wear a... Nah. Uh, okay. Nah. Si Simon Phoenix might. Si from Demolition <laughs> yeah, Man. I, was say, I just watched that a few days ago, too. <laughs> I, I've, I've never watched movie. it. Love that movie. Never watched it. Oh, I love that movie. It's over the top. Oh, yeah. In it's, a good way. I, I know Wesley Snipes is in it. Wesley Snipes and Stallone. That's where we get Murder Death Kill from. Yeah. That's where that came from. I, in the future, they call them MDKs. Yeah. Murder Death Kill. <laughs> and then there was a Murder Death Kill PlayStation game. <laughs> oh, don't die. I killed them all. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, uh, I really hope I didn't kill them. All. <laughs> Hashtag Punisher, Punisher problems. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's your special guy. You might oh, need to kill your guy. My yeah. special little boy. <laughs> Who's my special little guy? Yeah. Come here, you little you snow. You're my are. special little guy. <laughs> Come with me, little <laughs> snowflake. Now, make way for the, for the army jeep. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> here comes the 5-5 five, five sicker. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this frame by frame. This guy looks like he's not looking forward to this. Dude, check this shit out. <laughs> He's a car inspector. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Check, out <laughs> Check out that new car smell. <laughs> Try it. Sniff. Sniff. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> Stop hitting me. I know. Oh. <laughs> Why you do that, comrade? <laughs> Oh, there was a drill press and an engine hanging on the cherry picker. No, I'm not your comrade guy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy, Lieutenant. 